Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here in the medieval world again with some more medieval 1212 AD for Attila Total War. So yeah, this is the medieval mod if you don't know for Attila Total War and we have an excellent 3v3 battle for you today. This is a really, really close one I've been told. Sent in by members of my Discord, uh, played with mostly members of my Discord, so if you want to join um, my Discord to get involved in some 1212 yourself or just to uh, send in your own replays then uh, feel free to join. It's down below in the description of this video. And I uh, hope to see some of you guys there if you've not already joined. And join the Papal Legion with your fellow Legionnaires. But uh, yes, yeah, so we have a 3v3 today. And uh, we have, uh, who do we have on the attack? We have Scotland, the foes of England. We have Bohemia and we have Flanders. So an interesting alliance there. I, I don't know really why these guys would all come together to fight, but I guess they would for some reason. Then we have Poland. I'm pretty sure we have France somewhere, yeah, France over here with some sergeants, and then we have in the backs here somewhere, if I can find them, if I can find them, England, there we go, so we have England fighting Scotland, but they're allied with France, so this is a weird scenario that's come about really, uh, but yeah, so this is uh, how the uh, two armies are kind of setting up, it looks like Mostly, uh, they're kind of giving up this front wall here to start with. I mean, it will allow them to get crossbows uh, like in like direct lines of shots, but they, they want to probably hold up some uh, units to these front walls here. Like, certainly like these spears. If they could hold like spears or more expensive stuff on the walls, they could get these crossbows some really nice kills. I played on this map recently and had that happen to me. Uh, like, some even some basic archers got some really good kills uh, and like definitely did their money's worth from just like another unit holding them up on the walls. Um, I mean, they've got like lots of the interesting things like gunners back here, we've got heavy axes, we've got lots of pole arms, lots of stuff clumping, clumping in the middle here. They might need to start spreading some of this stuff out and defending some streets because uh, if they clump, then I mean, they're just going to use like things like their uh, trebuchet back here. There's a, uh, what's, whose trebuchet is this? This is a bohemian trebuchet. This could just sling rocks into the uh, main cap point and destroy a lot of stuff if it needed to. Same with the artillery, they have a culverine somewhere. Scotland's brought a culverine and could just bring it up. They could just start firing down streets and killing like hundreds of men. Um, but interestingly, there is a little bit of a sally going on over here, waiting with some uh, gussars of Bohemia. Oh no, Bohemia, um, of Poland. They look quite nice. Look at that chap. He's ready for war. And then what else do we have over here? We have uh, the Great Banner of Krakow. This is a really nice unit. It's the high version. So it's got all the nice colors, bright colors in the reds and the blues. They look awesome. Yeah, there you go. There is the Great Banner itself. Looking glorious. So yeah, there's two really good units there that are going to be able to do some stuff. I mean, they don't know that they're there, but the Flanders actually has got some mounted sergeants in the right spot. Uh, these mounted sergeants are... Um, they're, re they're ready. I mean, they don't know that they're there, but I mean, that's just a, that's just well played by Flanders. Always put some cavalry on your flank, uh, your unprotected flank, just to make sure that you're not going to get attacked. So now his flank kind of is pretty safe. This army could probably get inside quite easily. Uh, it looks like France is sort of going to defend over here. We've got Pieton Levies and other stuff. They're going to defend, but I mean, this is a ball play to bring these guys. This is a tier one spear unit. These guys will not hold long. They're basically peasants, especially when there's a lot of tier three stuff being brought today. But look at the armor. I mean, you can see the armor difference. Like, these guys are literally just wearing just like the clothes that they probably woke up in. And then you've got uh, like units over here, like the sergeants or uh, even these guys. Look at these guys. Imagine if the Pieton Levies come up against these guys in full steel armor. They're like born and bred for war and they're just facing like Barry with his spear uh, who's just woken up and being told he's got to come or he's going to lose all his land. There's Barry himself in the red. Uh, but yeah, so it's going to be quite interesting to see how they do. I don't think they'll do very well. I think they're going to get killed quite quickly. Got sergeants here though of uh, uh, Poland ready to support though. Got lots of sergeants actually over here. A lot of high units have been brought by uh, Poland. Uh, an interesting decision. I mean, high is possibly my favourite period because they are very, very uh, like they're like very colourful. This is like that's the colourful period of uh, the medieval period. Like late period, you see like just a lot of steel armor being used. Uh, not as much um, like colourful sort of armor. If you get what I mean, colourful units, I guess you put it like that. But uh, yeah, so I mean there is that. But at the same time, I also do like the third. Like high is also very nice. Like I mean, there's nothing wrong with an entire army just full of like these boys. <laughs> they are really nice. What unit is that even? English Foot Knights. There you go. English Foot Knights. They're going to do very well. But uh, yeah, so there you go. It looks like already we're going to have a nice little play here by Bohemia. He's got some uh, Pabby's crossbows up onto this wall. And he's now going to be able to just unleash hell onto this sword unit down here. 
Um, and it's going to be, I mean, you might not get a lot of, actually, I don't even think he's firing at that one. He's firing at the one behind. He's firing at the sergeants all the way back there. Fire at the nearest one, I would. Got a nice angle onto this, uh, onto this unit here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you could definitely just hit, hit, get the tops of their heads and stuff like that. That'd be very nice. Got swords landing now as well. Got lots of macemen uh, landing. That is the bread and butter of, uh, of Bohemians. They're like, like their only melee infantry unit. They have no swords. Just maces. Clearly, so maces are a thing in uh, Bohemia. We've got some uh, mounted sergeants here, though, moving up. They need to be careful, these Etric archers, so they don't just get killed. I mean, there are spears ready to support. They could definitely defend this choke point. But uh, once you open up a choke point, you do allow other ways in uh, other ways in or out for cavalry. I don't know why they're destroying so many uh, towers. Like, they could just capture them anyway. Seems a bit strange to be just destroying all these towers. I mean, yeah, obviously, you, can really, you can't really get all your men down them because the Attila, like, I don't know what just decides that if you capture the tower you destroy it so you're probably gonna get half unit down and then destroy the tower and lose your unit but just ignore them just, or just capture them like later it's not really they don't get that many kills especially especially when they're uh, like not defending the walls they barely get any kills you lose more men from capturing them uh, and you're wasting ammo I personally feel you're wasting like key ammo like this culverin could be taking out I don't know pikes or whatever late game same with the trebuchet you could like save the ammo Deal with some of these pikes because I can't see masses. Actually, no, I've, I can see a fair few halberds. A mortar here, that's good that they brought a mortar. Uh, Flanders, they run over some traps, that's pretty unfortunate. But, uh, and there, see, this is what happens when you capture the tower here. You can lose a bunch of men. Like this unit here is uh, down like 30 men just because of that. And same on this side, this one's uh, Brotherhood of St. Sebastian Spearman. That's a cool unit. Cool name, anyway. They look quite nice. Uh, over here, though, you can see that Poland is moving its cavalry up. They're realizing they're running out of time to uh, to charge anything, and they're actually sending some halberdiers to support their cavalry here. What is this? A militia gizemirs. I mean, Flanders is a really nice faction now. I mean, it already was before, but it's very, very strong now, I personally believe. It's a very strong faction to bring. And that's good. I like that, the, like, smaller nations, like, um, like Flanders, for instance, uh, like, are getting quite a lot of recognition and are actually becoming quite powerful, and can take on, like, France and England. I've seen, like, French and English players, like, be scared when they're facing Flanders, which is kind of weird, but I can see they have got some good cavalry. They have a very good cavalry unit, which I don't think they have brought today. No, they brought them under sergeants, didn't they? Uh, but I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty just well rounded. And look at this this crossbow unit is wrecking these sergeants. They're down, a th down 30 men, and like they also are taking the HP damage from like this because these guys are armor piercing. And they're also getting shot at by Etric archers here. They probably just want to put these guys on the wall. Like, if they get these guys on the wall, they can just fire at these levy crossbows, because these levy crossbows are just not great. They are probably going to get, both, like, destroyed um, by the Etric archers. I'd say that. And then we've got our first infantry clash, though. Here we go. The Piotr, the Pietan le levies with Barry is uh, he's engaged. I don't know where he is. There he is. So that's, I think that was Barry running the red there. Well, they, they're facing some Pavi spears, I mean, or spear militia. Interesting decision by... Uh, by Flanders sending spears first. I mean, these uh, sergeants would do okay against these sergeants. It's high versus... Oh, no. High versus high, actually, to be fair. Um, so, I mean, interesting interesting that everyone's bringing, like, high sergeants at the moment, I can see. I guess you could just bring more, but attackers have more money, so they should just try and take that advantage. Anyway, we'll go back in and watch the fight. I like that, um, I was just like zoomed out, but I see if I can find it again. That helmet, look at that helmet, that's an interesting style. It's like got like a visor, but that's like, for, like a, I don't know, I actually know what the style of helmet's called. But that, like you don't usually get that though, without style of helmet. I wouldn't have thought. That's really cool. Didn't even realize that one. Got archers firing here. They're doing a lot, they're gonna be doing a lot of damage. If they just get these archers of St. Sebastian onto the wall uh, and like shoot these uh, sergeants, i do a lot better. I mean, see, these sergeants are breaking these Brotherhood of the St. Sebastian really easy. You don't really want to send spears on the attack against swords. I would be bringing spears on the attack only to counter cavalry. Only to counter cavalry. They get these uh, archers of St. Sebastian onto the wall. They do a lot of work. And they're really good archers, I personally feel. This is another thing that, like, uh, Flanders, like, is doing well in now. They have really good bows. Like, these guys, I think, are quite good. 
They did quite well. I've played with them a few times and got some good kills. I mean, but like I said, you can get good kills with just about any arch unit if you use it well in this mod. They are now sort of defending this wall over here. They are going to, yeah, see, okay, so they are going to actually attack this wall. Sergeant's on the wall here. Uh, they did get Etrix uh, Archers onto this wall, and they are firing down at something. What are they firing at? I think, oh, it might be these Welsh Longbows might be uh, destro uh, shooting these Etrix Archers. But uh, these Highlanders here are now facing uh, some uh, English uh, Sergeants on the wall. Well, we know how this goes in history. The Highlanders don't survive, put it like that. William Wallace and uh, all his uh, Scotsmen did not survive facing uh, English Sergeants. We'll see how they can do today. Look at the armor difference. Look at the, the armor difference is just insane. And down here, I think it's more Highlanders uh, against Sergeants, isn't it? Yeah. We've got cavalry. We've got the general. It's uh, uh, called jo uh, John of Arc. It's Joan of Arc. Uh, is just getting a bit too close. I don't know why this is happening. Maybe it's a misclick or just like pathfinding. Um, but they should be. That needs to stay back because, I mean, every volley is a bit more HP. Like done to uh, Joan of Arc and then all it needs is one lucky bot arrow and she's dead and then that's the French morale just gone like that I like how the English have like the uh, crusader emblem for some reason because just because we have St. George as our like national uh, saint like we deserve to have St. George just plastered over everything it's just a crusader thing I mean of course I'm sure we used it actually yeah I think we used it in 100 years war we had St. George and like the like there's like a almost like an armband that had St. George on it I'm pretty sure that was a thing oh mortar rounds coming and I thought it was very close so yeah this is why they need to stop blobbing they need to stop blobbing in the center because this is going to just be bread and butter for this mortar like they will take out all of these uh, well they won't take all, all of them they'll do a lot of damage to these uh, pikes if they have to like if they just take out some of these like, this is a good target here literally two units stacked up on each other if you just Hit this one or miss and hit the next one. Devastating. That is devastating. But yeah, really good asset to bring is uh, a mortar. I mean, look at this. Flanders having a really rough time here. And uh, Poland is sending in even more. I don't think Poland should be sending in more. Because if these archers get mobilized properly, then they'll get a lot of kills. I mean, these archers up here, crossbow militia. Surely these guys are getting some decent kills. What are they losing to? Sergeant's losing down here. They might need to send in more. Maceman now going up. See, Bohemia is bringing... I think Bohemia is bringing... Oh, no, he's bringing high as well. I thought everyone was... Okay, maybe it was just a, Maybe they decided it was all high. Usually people, like, when they play uh, Medieval 12, 12, bring late. There's no rules. You just bring late units. But uh, maybe the funds weren't massive, or maybe there's rules. But uh, it looks like these macemen in the bottom of your screen now are just going to be uh, coming into the... Uh, coming into the battle. Supporting these sergeants. But these crossbow militia, I mean, I don't, I'm looking from their point of view. Barely any of them are firing, I just want to say. They are starting to uh, cause these units to start to lose. So that's good. That's a good win there for, uh, well, currently a win. Uh, the sergeants have beaten the uh, Highlanders. What are they setting in now? Spear, um, uh, K-turn? I do not know how you say that. But they won't do well either, I doubt. Like, Scotland is just not going to match up against England, like, I don't think. Unless he's got some really good units. I mean, Scotland does have some okay units. Let's see what he's actually got uh, available. But, like, these units he's sending in now, not great. Scottish Foot Knights, they're okay, but they're tier one. I mean, since this is a high tier game, maybe they'll have a chance. Uh, they look quite nice. Uh, the, the colours look, good. like, atrocious. I mean, Scotland does pick atrocious colours. They did you typically pick yellows, blues, reds, and then like, mix them together a bit. Got dismounted hospital knights because Scotland for some reason does now have a lot of uh, holy order units in its roster. I think they need to get rid of them because just why was it, why would any hospital go to Scotland? We've got Scottish knights here. These are a tier one again. These guys look kind of cool. They've got like cataphract style like armor on their horses. Um, and then they've got a general back here. Who's this? Uh, just the king's bodyguard. Shame they don't like add Robert the Bruce as a as a uh, unique unit. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, Scotland's having a rough time here. I mean these. Longbows back here. I've got 63 kills currently, and they're getting getting more. They're going to get so many more. There's so many archers coming o over here, and Scotland's having such a hard time. He's just not. He needs more support from Bohemia. Bohemia's kind of playing a support faction right now. He's not. He's like sort of helping out Flanders. And he's sort of helping out uh, Scotland. Right now, he also needs to make a push. I personally think himself down here. Come and take out these pavies. If they can punch through this line here, then they can cut off a fair amount back, to, retreat back to the cap point, or, or possibly could anyway. Uh, but they have won this first choke point here, have the attackers. They have destroyed all of the uh, poles. And you can see that they're now uh, getting 
destroyed by the oil. I don't know why that's, I guess, a thing. But yeah, look at all those bodies. Rip in peace. Barry will be in there somewhere, I'm sure. Barry will be in there. RIP to him. But, uh, I mean, what we got here? Mounted sergeants. They've been in the combat somewhere. Where do they go in the combat? Maybe around here. I might have just missed it. They might have charged in. Uh, got to still wait and see what that Sally's doing. Where's that Sally? There it is. Gossars. Still waiting. They look good. I wonder if that's where the name Hussar comes from, from these guys. Possibly. Uh, but back over here, uh, Scotland's having a really rough time. Where are these crossbows firing? They must be firing on, like, the uh, the archers up here, possibly. Yeah, I think they are. But, I mean, the archers are, should be able to rinse these guys. Look, these crossbows don't fire as quick as them. And they're equally as poorly armoured. I mean, these Etric archers, definitely, if they could get another unit up here, would be really good. We'll get one of these crossbows. Let's get one of these pavis up here. They'll gun down these crossbows. Uh, mainly because, like, the pavis, A, are more well armoured. They have a shield. And also the higher tier. Put gun those guys down. Quite literally, probably. Uh, sergeants here, though. Th 103 kills. They are mopping up Highlanders right now. I think they've killed two units already. A third may be on the, th on the menu. Look at these poor... This Highlander here. He's like, where, where do I go? I'm surrounded by Englishmen. Oh, he's dead. That's what happens to him. Scottish Foot Knights now. It's time for them to come in. Um, Scotland seems to be running a bit low on infantry. I mean, he's got shock left. He might want to get a shock infantry unit up to come and uh, try and punch through this spot because he's having a really rough time. He's losing on the wall as well because it's Highlanders against those sergeants. And he's got uh, longbows here that are helping. They've not got any kills. Oh no, he's got 75 kills. I want to say the angle is that great. They can barely see what's going on up there. But they believe, they believe. Uh, maybe they're changing target now. But yeah, here we go. Scottish Foot Knight's in. We're going to get supported by Macemen. I don't think they should clump up because that will just make it an even bigger target for those longbows. If they decide to change target. But here we go. England versus Scotland. The rivalry continues. And we still hate, hate each Oh, we don't actually really hate each other today. I, I, I've got a few friends that are Scot Scotsmen, so... They just merely want independence. They don't hate us. Well, some of them do anyway. But they won in the long run anyway because the Scottish king becomes the king of England. I guess that's one way of putting it. But then he changes his name to king of England instead of Scotland. So clearly he didn't enjoy being a Scotsman that much. Joking. I'm sure being a Scotsman is great. Here we go. It looks like, uh, looks like Bohemia is going to take on the charge on this side as well now. Got a lot of mace. Oh no, he's a sergeant. Okay. He does have some sergeants. I thought, I didn't think, um, Bohemia had sword units. I thought I only had macemen. But there you go. I'm learning. Maybe they got added. Maybe they got added. This is the tester version, so it may be the case that this, they, uh, just got added at some point. And I haven't really played as much 1212 as I like to recently. But, uh, but there you go. Look at that. This unit of sergeants getting absolutely overwhelmed. As soon as the uh, Bohemians come in, they are getting absolutely rinsed. It's the Macemen. They just can't deal with them. I don't know if they're tier 3 Macemen. I don't think they are. No, they are tier 3 Macemen. Okay, there you go. Macemen are tier 3. See, that's the difference when a tier 3 unit faces a tier 2. I know this one's also pretty banged up. And it's getting shot at with arrows. But, uh... It still, still is a different set. These Etric Archers, they need to save some ammo. I mean, they're pretty good. They're light longbows, these guys. But they need to save some ammo. Like, there's a lot of more troops to get through. And there's still a lot of, like, pole arms. There's a heavy build one back here. Shock infantry. A lot of stuff that's very vulnerable to archers that needs killing first. These sergeants, they'll die eventually. Um, and it's not worth wasting all your ammo. Cavalry now moving as well for Scotland. Where's he going to send his cavalry? Maybe he's thinking, if I break through this unit, I can then charge the cavalry in? I don't know. I can't see really any opening for cavalry. Maybe, I mean, there's sort of an opening here if you charge a sergeant unit. But both sides are kind of uh, competing. They've, like, they've got a spear unit already. But I would personally now, to break this deadlock, I'd be getting an archer unit up onto this wall. Uh, so it can shoot the uh, cavalry in behind. This unit's already pretty banged up. So uh, that, there's a good chance of that. Yeah, they're falling back their bohemian knights. I'd fall back, i keep the spears there. I think if you put the spears in the spear wall, the cavalry charges, it makes a huge mistake. If the, spe if the swords charge, not really the end of the world. 
Got pole arms now coming up here for uh, Bohemia. I keep wanting to call Bohemia Poland for some reason. They're fighting Poland. I mean, they're very similar. They're both in their red and white. But one has a lion and one has an eagle. That poor guy just oh just lost his head. <laughs> poor guy, poor guy. Um, ooh, this is definitely an option to go for. I think these pavies take these guys out with a sword unit. Get down here, or even a shock infantry. If they can get a, a sneak of shock infantry down here, because they've got a lot of their archers uh, over here focusing down Scotland. And these uh, macemen are breaking now or wavering. That's a bad sign. I don't know why they're falling them back. I just keep them in there. Not really uh, worth it. I mean, if they destroy this uh, barricade, then they can send cavalry down here and just destroy the sergeant unit as well. That, that's definitely a, a thing for Bohemia. Oh, cavalry's been fighting. I didn't even realize we've missed it. The Great Banner on Krakow has been in combat. 40 kills. It routed um, these mounted sergeants. What happened to the Gussars? Are they still alive? I don't think they are. No, where are the Gussars? Oh, they're there. They're there. They are there. They need a... Uh, like take these, uh, take some other stuff out. The uh, Great Baron Krakow could take out these. Uh, it could take out this uh, pole arm unit. It's not while well, it's moving. Don't go for the cavalry. Just take out this pole arm unit. Gussar sacrifice themselves. Oh, where's the Great Baron Krakow going? He's going for the general. Not a bad charge. Not a bad charge, but it wasn't a great charge. I don't think they'll take a general out here. Unless they're very unlucky. I mean, this is actually this is a low tier. Unit is winning though. It's a low tier general, but it is winning. It's just the sheer amount of cavalry in here that's just overwhelming this poor unit. Uh, crack out 56 kills. They got this unit can get hundreds of kills. I've seen definitely a, not a waste, but I don't know. I think they're just well prepared with Flanders. I think I think they should have uh, waited. Uh, Poland been more patient. Waited for uh, I don't know for maybe Poland to decide. Not Poland. Uh, Flanders to decide. I've got to use my cavalry inside the city. Or you could have brought, they could have brought their cavalry back inside the city, possibly. But I mean, the areas that they're fighting in, in this, uh, in this siege, aren't really the great, greatest areas for the cavalry, I personally think. I mean, there's some mobility, but like over here, I think it's the best area to run your cavalry around. These, uh, this area over here, like, like England sword defending, and this bit here. Like, uh, this is a little bit too congested. Uh, congested. Um... Personally, in my opinion, but I mean, yeah, these uh, swords are losing here. It's like these sergeants are getting absolutely wiped. Pole arms are stabbing away. Sergeants can't do much against it. They might need to get some pole arms up of their own. They've got sergeants here. They've got shock infantry coming up. English and French shock infantry. Uh, that is not the that is not the solution. They need some pole arms. They need some pikes. It's, France has got pikes that's dotted around back here. Like pikes, all well and good having late game, but they're not they're not great when uh, you've got nothing to defend them. Like if they send the pikes down here, it's a pike on pike fight. This is suits them, but pole arms, uh, yeah, pole arms just munch up these shock infantry. The shock infantry will have no better ch chance of really getting in amongst the uh, pole arms. I would have thought. Yeah, I mean, also with the sword protection, they'll be fine. They need to get something else in here. I mean, unless this was just like a, we're going to throw this in because we have nothing else here. But they had swords. Throw the swords in first before these guys. But France is throwing in a shock infantry. This is good, a shock infantry. It's tier three. Um, so, I mean, these guys, again, can get a lot of kills. But uh, they've got 14, 17 going up. I think they're taking out these swordsmen, but the halberdiers surely over time are just going to wear them down. Now would be a good time for uh, Flanders to start uh, using. Oh no, not Flanders, Bohemia. Start using some of his arrows. Just shoot these uh, chevaliers. Like, just make them be punished for uh, even deciding to come into the city. What are these? Are these a long swordman of St. Michael? These guys are awesome. I love this unit. I swear this unit used to be a sword unit first. 
Uh, and then it's now become a, a shock infantry unit. I mean, that kind of makes sense because it is... It does have a massive sword. Uh, <laughs> just put it like that. And you can see that they are now pushing here as well. Bohemia is doing a lot of the work here. A lot of the work I'm seeing at the moment. He's fighting every single front at the moment. We've got Maceman here. Now going against the, uh, the Pavi Spears. There you go. That sort of engagement's begun. Edged forward. Those uh, Pavis. Over here, England is still holding his choke point here. I mean, now would be the time to start getting like archers up or other stuff. Start shooting down into, this, into like the side here, into this blob. But I mean, that's what uh, England is doing to... Oh, how many kills have these guys got? 196! Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, they've destroyed these Scottish uh, foot knights. They are having a no... Like, I just give up. Just, just don't even carry on fighting for the walls. Just get your men off the walls and just call it a day. Like, it's just not even worth it. The amount of men lost and, like, the amount of men killed was just not worth it. Like, Scotland, like, all these men are bloodied up. They've all been, like, just shot to shreds. And, like, the English look still quite fresh and healthy. Now they're sitting in half days. Those poles are charging in by the looks of it. That's not how you go in with a pole arm. These are light pole arms as well. These are very vulnerable to our archers. So, I mean... I guess good thing to send him in now because Scotland doesn't even have many archers in the way. He's got some here, but these guys have got no ammo. He's got a we've got a crossbow unit here for Poland. He's finally getting like units up here to come and try and shred units. But uh, he's got a culverine as well. This is not a good time to bring in a culverine. The archers right here, they could just shoot the crew. Um not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. So yeah, Scotland's still having a rough time. You can see here that ah oh, the shock infantry is actually winning this fight. I'm kind of surprised. I thought Shock Infantry should be just getting absolutely obliterated by pole arms. They certainly need archers up here now to the, uh, to the attackers. They want to get through these guys. I love, the, I just love the combat for this. It looks amazing. Archers here, fo focusing down. Frank archers here. I mean, if they get some cavalry around here, um, I know the uh, like they still have their mountain sergeants. I don't know why they still haven't bothered to put an archer unit up on the wall to scare this sergeant or force it away. Retake the street almost by just sending up some archers here. Um, but they could send around one of like the carry, um, who's got carry left? Mounted sergeants could send these guys around, or like some bohemian knights. Go around and you can flank them. I mean, they're already sending their knights down here, to be fair, actually. This is huge. This is very huge. Um, shock infantry getting, like, just pushed aside as bohemian knights come flying down the street, along with, uh, some, uh, some Scottish knights. So that's where Scotland's been sending his cavalry. And they've overwhelmed the shock infantry. Overwhelmed. Look at that, the ground's shaking that much because of all the cavalry. I guess it would, like that much cavalry on a charge, the ground would shake. And there you go, the archers breaking, mercenary uh, Welsh longbowmen. They got a lot of kills to be fair before they uh, start getting sent into combat. Can okay, gunners firing, now we've got the Polish gunners firing on this cavalry. Very good targets we're going for the cavalry here. I mean, they've got some decent range, the gunners, but like the, their damage is done at very close range. Um, I don't know if this is, would you count this as? Uh, I don't think that's really close range. I think the morale, they're doing more morale effect than they are actually killing stuff at the moment. Like, if they got to the, if the gunners, anything got to the bottom of here, the gunners would do a lot of work and get a lot of kills. But at the moment, they're just doing a lot of morale damage. And they're actually getting shredded by archers themselves. Got some archers of St. Sebastian, a really good target to go after by the uh, Flander players here. He's uh, just annihilating these, uh, these Pavi's hand gunners. And there you go, here we go, they're finally going to come and fight on the street here. We've got uh, some macemen going in against some sergeants of France and like... That'll be an interesting fight. Uh, I think both sides of this are tier 3. Yeah, sergeants get in tier 3 bits. Uh, macemen are tier 3, they're going to send in some uh, spear militia as well. These guys don't even have... Oh my gosh, spear militia for Beh Bohemia doesn't even have a shield. Poor guys. Um, I just... They're just not even worth, worthy of bringing, really, are they? Um, got pole arms here. They actually handling a bit of standoff now. 
Neither side is really wanting to carry on. I mean, the pole arms, if they could say, stabilize these guys, probably could win this fight. This amount of Chevrolets, I mean, they've got 183 kills. It's pretty solid, to be fair. They've killed a lot of guys here. Done a lot of work. I mean, if they send up these spears as well to support, they might do okay. Oh, there you go. They just charged in. I didn't, wasn't paying attention. Uh, so I presume that the uh, pole arms are going to lose this because they're wavering. Yeah, there they go. Just waver. The charge of the shock infantry was enough to break them. And now, these uh, shock infantry could charge into these spears. They probably will win that fight as well, to be honest. 200 kills these guys have got now. Yeah, I don't know. 90 of these guys against... Uh, it's like 80 or so. Yeah, 81. I think the uh, shock infantry will win that fight. Beaten up or not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll watch together with great interest. I do love this, uh, like... The style that Flanders got going on the red here is quite nice. They've, also, they've got like loads of different little uh, like co different coats of arms that they've got going on. But over here is a major problem. So like I said, I thought this area here was going to be a bit of a weak spot. Easy to take out because, uh, well, you just get archers to shoot at the backs of anything that fights here. Uh, and yeah, it looks like the macemen here are having a lot of joy. Now they're sending up, uh, what's sending up now? Archer St. Sebastian. They need to get back. These guys have got ammo still. Shock infantry now getting sent in. I think this is the French Shock Infantry again, uh, being sent in against the Macemen. Like, this is the issue when it comes to, like, high period, or not high period, oh, this is English show. Uh, but nice, there you go. So, uh, this is the issue with, uh, like, late period units, because they're all in just in steel armor, and no one has any emblems, so you kind of just like, oh, I don't really know who's fighting who, it's just a load of men in steel armor. Uh, it's just a sea of the same sort of looking men. But yeah, Scotland is having a rough time here, I'm sorry for it. I feel sorry for him, but at the same time, it's a good learning curve. Uh, losing, uh, like, is pretty, is like a good way to learn. Uh, it's cold right here, and he's like, I don't know if he's manly firing or what, but taking out this tiny unit of sergeants is not what I'd be using it on. Like, especially when I have the last drakes of ammo, I always just run out there as well. His last shot was trying to hit this sergeant. I'm definitely charging this sword unit with cavalry. Scotch Knight's hit could be quite good. Could definitely break this unit. It's what he needs. He needs his breakthrough. Come on. For Scotland. For William Wallace. For Robert the Bruce, for, for Freedom, whatever he says, I don't know. I can't remember what he says in the Braveheart, but it's something like that. And it kind of goes like that, uh, bar the cavalry. Uh, they don't charge with cavalry, they just charge with loads of angry men. And there you go, the cavalry's broken through, and now they're able to go absolutely manic, charge into this uh, heavy axeman unit. Please, make Poland pay for what he's done to you. Or go for a general, we go for Edward the Black Prince back here. Not a bad target. Please take out the Black Prince. Go over the Black Prince. Get the charge. Here we go. Black Prince is going to be into combat. I think that's him in the front lines. I don't actually know. No, it won't be. Where is he? That's a pretty decent charge. Now Poland needs to send up a shock infantry. Oh, no. He's going to send up pole arms. That's a good idea. Surround this this cavalry. And the, the cavalry, the Scottish cavalry is winning that fight. They actually, actually annihilated this, uh, this general. There you go. Pole arms. I mean, that should turn the fight in favor of the English. Unless the uh, Scottish can get some infantry to come in and eliminate the uh, the pole arms. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure, yeah, I mean, now they're even. They're still losing, though, apparently, this uh, Black Prince unit. Need to get carry up it. This is huge. If they can kill this general. Oh, they're pulling it out. I don't know if that was a great idea. They should have stayed in combat, I think. Should have stayed in combat. Look at that. He's frantically trying to get this cavalry out of here. He's that worried of the pole arms. I would have just left it there. It's going to wait. It's going to break. It was actually killing this general. They might have killed this general, luckily. But he's gonna go. He's gonna pull out this way. And look at that! A unit of uh, like 38 breaking. That definitely had a lot of life left in it. If they uh, just stayed in there, just get infantry up to support. Always the best move. Over here, they're still trying to break through. I mean, the Bohemian Knights I thought was gonna do it, but apparently not. Apparently not. Over on that far flank, let's see how these, uh, look at the spear, oh, this is a really good flank. This, see, this is what the attackers needed to do. They need to get archers up on this wall, and then they could have been doing this. But now it's the Frank archers that are doing it, and they've got just, you couldn't miss. That is fish in a barrel, literally. They are literally firing down, and just, just pick a target. Who do you fancy killing? Who do you hate today? Focusing down, they've got some really good, and they're definitely taking out these pole arms. These uh, military gizmars, really good target to take out right now. And right into the backs in as well. 
What a cowardly way to kill a man. Shoot him in the back. That's an archer for you. They're already cowards anyway. They're using a, a bow and they're fighting a distance. I mean, I can't really say that because half of, uh, at least half of probably like the military victories won by the English during uh, this period are won by longbows. So, uh, for my national pride, I shouldn't really be calling uh, calling the soldiers of England cowards. <laughs> I guess. I guess we were in a way. At least we won the battles. We we, don't, we didn't really fight with Odin, did we? We just fought with longbows. And there we go. One here as well. Welsh longbows getting killed here. 204 kills before they routed. But they are actually now in. They can now surround these, uh, this spear unit here. They probably want to do that. Surround this Pavis unit. And they probably want to start threatening other stuff. I mean, they're well and truly in, to be fair. They should start surrounding uh, these uh, other Pavis units as well. But yeah, it's getting quite close. I mean, balance power is still quite close. Uh, I mean, there's about 500 more men for the attackers. But that's just, like, just enough. I mean, I don't think they've got, like, the, the necessary units to possibly break it down. They use a lot of ammo, which is a concern. Um, and the defenders have a fair amount of ammo left. They've got a lot of pikes. The defenders have a bit of cav, but, I mean, if they get turtled up in here, it's not going to get mad. They have shock. Um, they need they needed a few more swords or spears, I think, personally, the defenders. But, uh... Or, like, just change out a few, like, pikes for a few spears. Because it's possible actually too many pikes. Like, they have so much pikes, like, they have just nothing to defend them. Same with the shock. Nothing to defend the shock, because this unit gets shot by, like, archers all the way back here. Now they're actually going down here to fight them. Uh, France is sending in his pavis. He's going after sergeants of Bohemia. He's going to hold the line for the King of France. Raise the Oriflamme. That being like the... So I'm pretty sure that's like a red flag, the Oriflamme, that uh, basically means the, the Lords of Chivalry are over. Um, and like you just kill everyone, no surrender basically. I mean, they had one in Outlaw King, uh, which is like on Netflix, if you haven't seen that, it's uh, basically about Robert the Bruce. And the English had one, which is called the Dragon. I've literally never, ever heard of it being mentioned ever in history, this dragon. I'm pretty sure they just, Netflix decided to just name one. Like, they saw the Aura Flam and decided, oh, that's a cool, a cool idea. Let's give the English one. What do the English have that, like, is sort of a national thing to them? Oh, a dragon, yeah. Uh, so, I don't know, it may be a thing. It may be a thing, like the, dra like the dragon banner, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, pretty sure we didn't have one. We just stole a lot of the Aura Flams, to be honest, and never gave them back uh, to the French, which really annoyed them. So, like, uh, there was one from, uh, the one at Cressy was taken, uh, and that one was, like, being in the French, had been in French hands for hundreds of years, since, like, Charlemagne, I think, like, like that sort of period. Um, and then the English took it, and then never gave it back. And then, uh, like, Poitiers, a new Aura Flam had been made, so, it was, like, only a few years old. It was, like, ten years old, something like that. And um, and then the English steal that one as well, and don't give that one back. So like they make a third or a flam eventually. I think the French and that one does. They do hold on to that one. I think because they just never raise it again. They just realise that they keep losing them. It's just a flag anyway. It doesn't really matter. Might have symbolic uh, meaning, but who cares? In all in all honesty, like people probably cared about ancestry a bit. But they probably also cared about just winning the battle. No matter how many ancestral flags they lost, as long as they held on to, as long as they won the day. Banners don't have the. I mean, they sort of have a meaning, but they don't have the same meaning as, like, say, like the eagle uh, of uh, of Rome, like that, or like the eagles of like Napoleonic France. They don't have the same meaning. They uh, like a unit. Since you're not like a, des a designated unit, it's not actually. It's sort of your banner. It's like if you lose your Lord's banner, I guess that's pretty major, but. Your lord could just make another one. He's got, he's got probably tens, of, like hundreds in his uh, castle anyway. Just take one out of there. I'm going on, I'm going off on a tangent at the moment. Uh, mainly because nothing's really happening. It's just kind of a bit of a grind here. Like Bohemia's just going to be here for a while. Getting through these Pavi Spears. And I mean the defenders are just retreating everywhere else. That's all they're doing. Um, but yeah, there you go. I mean Scotland is finally in. Scotland's got nothing left. He's got like... His shock infantry, he's got his hospitalities, which are pretty good to be fair. Which are actually doing some work on the wall here. And these guys are probably doing a lot. Are they? Oh my god, there's heads like. Loads of heads just falling off the wall and down onto the ground down here. That's hell. Well, it's kind of hilarious, which is kind of horrifying. 
Like, you could just be like, whoa. Like, if you're on the ground, you're just like seeing heads just rain down and you're like, oh god. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, these hospitalers, I mean, I don't know why they're serving Scotland, but they're here, they're doing a bit. Um, so there you go. Oh, heavy Axemen, these Heavy Axemen are not that great. They're tier 2, but I, I don't rate Poland's uh, Shock Infantry personally. I don't think it's that great. I mean, it's better than Bohemia's, because Bohemia has like none. They have Flailmen, and they're just awful. I don't know why they decided that Bohemia couldn't have any, but maybe I just guess it's because of limitation to them. But here we go, sergeants and pole arms doing their bit. I think they're in shock infantry here as well, haven't they? Yeah. The tiny unit of dismounted French Chevaliers. How many kills has this one got? 297! Go on. 298, 299. Hit 300, the big 300. The enemy have rallied their units. One more kill. Come the on, you can do it. You can do it. Yes! 300. Excellent. But now, yeah, here's perfect, like a perfect thing to be using. Get your crossbows up here and just shoot these guys. Just shoot these heavy billmen. The audacity they have just to stand there. Uh, but if they're going to just retreat, then send the hospitalers up. Yeah, this is really well played here by Scotland and uh, Bohemia. So Bohemia, uh, like, the defense either have one choice. Or they have two choices, sorry. Stand there with their polearms and stop anything coming up or get sh and get shot. Or they don't get shot, but they let stuff up. And they're going to do the latter. They're going to let stuff up uh, and not get shot. But now they're going to send it back in. So that's the thing. Oh my god, this is a horrifying square that they're trying to form here, I'm seeing. If they, anyone comes up this spot here, they're going to get flanked by pole arms and get attacked on the front side. If that's what they're planning to do, that is very nice. I kind of like it, but I also can see a lot of things going wrong with that. Got uh, pole arms here moving up. They sent out some cavalry, did... Uh, the English. I mean, it's pretty beaten up. I think it's actually dying from the uh, from the gunners here. Pavi's gu hand gunners. They're folks. I mean, they're, they're also breaking their own men. That's the thing. They're breaking their own men because you use a gunner, you've got to make sure that there's a clear line of sight because you're going to do damage to your own men. They're very inaccurate and also they do a lot of damage to morale, like friendly and foe morale. So, a bit of a risk. Now you can see here, look at this. They are not good. Like, they are were contemplating moving up and then they're like, no, absolutely not. Get the crossbows up again. Get the crossbows or any archers. Just shoot these pikes. The real way they're going to break through is, well, is here, to be honest. Because look at this. They've done it. Send up the men. Uh, Bohemian needs to just get in there. Like right now, just the throw up these sergeants the and throw them these pole arms. And anything else on here, look at it. get these uh, Flemish uh, sergeants up here. And they're in. But they're not paying attention. What are they doing? Here we go. I mean, I think Flanders is saying something up. But, I mean, Bohemian needs to move as well. Because they're going to get shock infantry. These heavy axemen are going to get here. Save the day. No. You had a chance, attackers. What did you do? What do you do? Oh, no. They're still not even going to do that. They've not even set up them yet. Oh, now they have. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a shame. A real shame. Here we go. They are actually sending in their shock infantry against pole arms. I mean, it worked for France. I guess it could work for Scotland. But then nothing's worked for Scotland today. So, no offense. But that's just that just happens. Find the pikes on this side. I think this is definitely worse, finding the pikes on this side. Do not do that. Face the pole arms. The pole arms at least have got less of a reach. There we go, I mean, the pole arms are winning that fight. This is what I thought was going to happen with the French. Like, what's, why did, what did the French do so differently? They sent men in. And if anything, this was a better odds because there's no swords protecting these guys. But, uh, there you go. The pole arms here are going to beat the shock infantry. That's just mad. 
Uh, where's the mortar? Is the mortar firing? It is. Excellent. This is what they're going to need, the attackers. They're going to win this. They're going to need that mortar. And that's going to get at least... I don't know. How many kills it's got? It's got to get at least another 50. At least. It's got to do a lot of damage to morale. Maybe go for a general snipe at this point. Ed with the Black Prince. I don't know if he's dead or alive. Um, I'm just going to say alive. Because, uh, well, the Eng yeah, English units aren't saying a general dead yet. That's my deduction. They're doing the same on this side. I like this. I like this side that they're going for. Like a bit of a V for victory. They need another pole arm here, though. But they're running out. I After I just said they had too many, they're actually running out of pole arms. Look at that. Uh, but yeah, the pole arms on this side, they're winning over here. I mean, they need to send up more stuff here. It's going to be very, very close. Well played by all the players, to be fair, in this one. This is, they've done, all done a really good job. Pole arms against Pavis. This is possibly going to be the most boring of battles ever. Uh, that guy just waved his halberd. What's he doing? You can't use your halberd like that. I mean, you can, but... That's not fair. <laughs> you can't use it as an offensive weapon. But use it as defensive. Poor guy just got, like, decapitated by a pole arm. Uh, like, by a... Yeah, by a pole arm. That's a way to go. Uh, heavy Axeman, there you go, breaking to these, on these pole arms. So they're having the same issues as the uh, Scottish on the far side. And now it looks like they're setting up a similar sort of defense on this side. They've got less pole arms over this side. It's an issue. Um, and they're forming that V for victory again. They need to get archers. Have they got any archers left? Oh, they have got crossbows. It's got uh, obviously the mortar. No, like, bows, though. Which I think bows are better to get, like, up and over, like, the wall. I like, crossbows could get really close and, like... These uh, slopes are a bit buggy sometimes. They don't like the crossbows. Don't like firing on them. Shock infantry here though, losing. Uh, is this the long sword to St. Michael? No, not my boys. Get them out of there. Get them out of there. Yes, 107 of them left, and they're wavering. Look at that. They're wavering. I think it's because they're falling back. And the guns are here. They need to get get these guns to fire onto these uh, pavies, like like point blank range. The Pavis and the pole arms, to be honest. Get everything firing on them. Yeah, we have six minutes left. It's going to be close. It's I don't know who's going to win. I mean, if there's a general snipe, I don't know. Uh, they have capability to do the uh, defenders. Like the Brazonian archers. They have uh, lots of Brazonian archers here. Probably want to start taking out generals. Like, you want to take out Jan's uh, Zazika here, possibly. Uh, definitely couldn't get the general back there. That's the uh, Flemish one. They might be able to take out the Scottish general. Um, but yeah, they, that might be the best way that they're going to get general uh, to win this battle, general snipes. Which I think at this point is perfectly acceptable. Like, it, it is pretty last uh, chance saloon right now for uh, the defenders. Attackers? Um, they just going to play a bit slow. I mean, there is only five minutes left, so I guess they don't play it slow, or they do, or whatever. Um, but they've got to just get archers up and gunners up and start shooting stuff down. I mean, they need to start using their Brazonian archers to take out uh, gunners as well and, like, pole arms. Just take out key units. I mean, like, styles like this are really good. I believe it was on a timer. Um, the, so, I mean, like, they need to get a move on. <laughs> they need to get a move on. So it's not a draw. It better not end as a draw. This is a draw. Look at this. Molly! Fire your crossbows, what they're firing at. They're firing at the other crossbows, I think. Or the pole arms, probably the pole arms. What we're sending up here. Archers of San Sebastian, how many kills these guys got? 146, not bad. Not bad at all. Sergeant handgunners. They're firing to the flank of that unit there, that's nice. Firing to the flank of those, uh, those uh, men at arms, not men at arms, uh, what are they? Foot knights, that's the one. Body! I mean, they're getting shot to pieces by the archers back there, which is, again, like I said, very good target to take out if you're the uh, defender. Uh, the pole arms are now losing on this flank. Uh, they clearly can't deal with the second hospitality unit. One was just enough. Two is one too many. Waiting over here still to uh, make a move are the Bohemians. Uh, I think they're probably just going to wait it out. I mean, they're breaking them in other areas here. You can see these English foot knights now wavering. I mean, if they just send one big push up here, go for the uh, Pavis on the right, then they're in. They're in. I mean, this cavalry here could also probably sneak around, get these Pavis ha handgunners, and then just loop in and just do a whole lot of damage. I mean, this is Bohemian knights. I hope he does this. 
No, he's going for the spears. He went for the spears. Interesting. Um, I mean, just knock them all down, or most of them. Knocked a fair few down there. He didn't knock down the whole unit, though. He's going to pull through. See, I'm, I'm a bit more okay with cavalry pulling through because it's a horse. Like, pulling through infantry. Like, if infantry pulls through infantry, that's a big thing. I mean, that has broken the spear unit, in fairness. I don't know if he should have pulled through that one. It wasn't like, really a great charge. Um, but, I mean, it happens now. Now, actually, here you go. Now the defense is under because the shock infantry and the pikes have to fall back. So deal with the cavalry. Le allowing Bohemia to charge up here. And there you go. You can see, I think this is where it's going to start to end. This is the uh, beginning of the end for the defenders, I would have thought. The line, any sort of line and cohesion has been broken a bit. just see the chaos ensuing in this little uh, undergrowth area here. The uh, Scottish General's also pushed up. He's in his bright yellow. This Scottish General needs to be careful. I mean, he's been a bit foolhardy with his men anyway, but I guess that's the Scots for you. The Bohemians, uh, not Bohemians, got the uh, Hospitars here. Fighting for the Scots. Still doing their bit with the Scottish Foot Knights. Cavalry here. I mean, Joan of Arc's uh, in combat, I think. Joan of Arc's all the way, like... No, that's Edward Black Prince. That is Joan of Arc there, then. Joan of Arc is being chased down by the uh, Scottish General. Might be about to die here. General Which general just died, then? Uh, it was the Black Prince, I believe. Yeah, it is the Black Prince. Edward Black Prince has just died. I don't know where... Uh, Poland General is. There he is. <laughs> just as I say it. King's Bodyguard appears and just charges into the back of all the Scots. Not a bad charge, to be fair. Um, Poland just looks really nice. I just I just love the Poles. They look really good. Um, shame that they don't... They're not possibly the greatest roster. I mean, they're pre it's pretty good. It's quite heavily uh, carry like centred. Um, I guess because of wing Tussars. I mean, not yet at their time, but I guess Poland just has a lot of cavalry. Um... At this point, our infantry is okay. Junior Knights are pretty solid. But yeah, the cavalry here just running down all sorts of stuff. And there you go. That is probably going to be, uh, well, it's nearly the battle anyway. They're just going to overwhelm this flank here. Look at that chain route by uh, England and by Poland on this flank here. And they, yeah, they just surround everything there. And yeah, that's it. It's a, a huge route going on. And it's going to just be, it's going to be actually, ironically, the only units that aren't wavering, Heavy Axemen, who are actually winning their fight, and the Polish general. So a unit that I slandered for say was not that great is actually going to be one of the last to stand. So I mean that's typical. Uh, I open my mouth and I say something, and then it comes back uh, to haunt me. But there you go. I mean this is really I'm not going to be haunted by these heavy axemen uh, holding the line, being the last to go. There they go. Actually they're not the last. It is going to be the general or the crossbows. <laughs> the levy crossbows with the first, to, the last to go. Brave men. But there we go. Just fast forward. Just. Last few seconds that you don't really need to see. And there you go. I think the general's going to try and get one last hurrah. One last charge. For Poland. Sort of got a decent charge. Sort of got the end of that. He's probably going to break here though. And there you go. A Peric victory for Bohemia and their allies. So we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. So there we go. So the, yeah, this was sent in by uh, Premisil, who was uh, playing as the uh, Kingdom of Bohemia. So thank you to him for sending this one in. And a thank you to all the players that took part. And I'm definitely going to like Paranoid and Stand and a Dragon Player and a uh, Owner Fush are all part of the uh, all part of the Discord. I presume Oracle is as, um, as well. Everyone has like different Steam names and then they have a different Discord name. So confusing. Uh, <laughs> makes it very hard to tell who is uh, who is who. Um, but there we go. So yeah, so we'll have a look at. Um, Prem Sil's uh, results first as King of Bohemia. He got 93 kills with his general, which is okay. His uh, his halberd is doing quite well, getting 337. Actually, that's very good, to be fair. That's very good. The other one did quite well, 164. Uh, his mace bone getting 111 kills. His archers getting 108 kills. His crossbows, 260, 221. Very good. And his cavalry, 307. And his trebuchet, 133. So he did very well there. Then we'll have a look at Flanders, who's played by uh, Ona Fush. When uh, it decides to just work there we go uh, so there we have the general here 115 with his general uh, with his general his uh, long swords the same michael 147 it's okay this one got 102 and it's still very fresh that one was destined for greatness his uh, dismounted men at arms 230 kills very nice 
His uh, his swords, his spears here, sorry, not doing that great. Uh, only getting 55 kills. His uh, militia gives him ears, getting 70 kills. These guys got focused down by archers, though, so they were pretty unlucky. His sergeants here getting 114. His archers, St. Sebastian, getting 203. His uh, crossbows getting 118. His cab getting uh, 69 kills. And his mortar, 210. I'm, it got over the 50 kill mark that I wanted it to get, so well done to him. Uh, then we have a dragon player who was playing as uh, this king of Scotland, 102 kills with his general, 199 with his hospital knights. He did quite well. His highlanders, uh, where are they? Just got wrecked. Uh, the poor one unit he brought. Oh no, he brought a few more. They got wrecked. Uh, his spear Cathane got like 56 kills. His uh, Scottish foot knights again also didn't do that great. To be fair, only gained 49 kills. I think Scotland's pretty weak. It needs a few more higher tier units. I personally think I think it needs another Scottish. It needs Scottish foot knights, but uh, late. And on high, I don't think it has them. Just as early. And then we have Etric Archers here, getting 175. It needs to have good pikes, this Scotland. It needs really good pikes, because that's what they are famous for. And then they've got the Scottish Knights here with, 100, uh, with 90 kills. So they did okay. Then uh, that's all the attackers. So well done to all the attackers. Um, then we have uh, Paranoid here, who's playing as the Kingdom of England. 37 kills with his Edward, Edward Black Prince. Uh, 135 with his uh, English Foot Knights. He got uh, 114 with his uh, Billman. His uh, sergeants getting 156 did quite well working with the uh, Ing, uh, with the Welsh longbows who got 204 213 did well in his mounted sergeants getting 89 kills. Then we have Oracle who's playing as France 70 kills with Joan of Arc 309 kills with those Chevaliers very nice. His uh, Pierre Ton Levin he's getting 86 kills. His uh, Pavis uh, like units here I mean the best one got 100 kills. His uh, Pikes getting 46. His sergeants getting 109. And his uh, Frank Arch is getting 207 kills. So he's doing quite well. Then we have uh, Stand here, who's playing as uh, Poland. 138 kills with his bodyguard. He has 117 kills with his Axeman. His uh, Levy Vol Volgier here getting um, his Polarm unit getting 173. His uh, Sergeants not doing that great, only getting 76 kills. His uh, Crossbows getting 102. His Pavi's Hangunner's got 188, which is very good. And his Cavalry, real shame, his Krakow Cavalry couldn't do better. Only getting 56 kills, but there you go. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this 12-12 siege. It was a really good one. I really enjoyed it. So thank you for sending it in. Uh, Prem still again, very, very good. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support as well. Always appreciated. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.